Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about Hamid fracture imaging. Hamid fractures are an uncommon form of copper bone fracture and only account for 1 to 2% of such fractures. Classification of Hamid fracture. Taiwan. Hook of hamid fracture, type 2, body of hamid fracture. So in the body, hamid fracture divide into A and B. A, coronal, may be those of oblique or splitting fracture. Type to B, transfer fracture. So what is hook of hamid fracture? Also sometimes term Taiwan hamid fracture are rare. They are a form of hamid fracture and occur from the hamid fracturing after blind trauma, ball, and in sport player, golf, basketball, rasket sport. from a direct blow was swinging. Stress fracture have also been reported. It may result in Guyon Canal syndrome. If occur on standard view, a couple two nail view may be a of value for better assessment. CT can be considered if initial radiograph are negative. MI is 100% sensitive and can be considered for high suspicion of injury. So in the sagittal uh, risk CT, so, on this place fracture, through the base of the hook of the helmet. This is the copper tunnel view of the wrist. So, we can see the fracture line through the the tip of the hook of hammer. So this is the fracture. In other sound, sometimes we can use it to assess for the hook of hammer fracture in case there we don't have CT or MRI to confirm. So we have to compare hand to hand. So as in the image, the left image, so the symptomatic hand and non symptomatic and asymptic hand. So we can compare that we can see the hypoechoic across the hook of the helmet. So this is the picture line. In case of hook of hammer fracture, can be made conservatively or with surgical excision or fixation depend on clinical status. Body of hammer fracture is less than 2% of all copper fracture. 
The main cause for this fracture is a direct impact again the hard surface with clan fish. Associated condition called or by metacarpal base fracture or dislocation of permanent fracture. So I recommend you in the radio ground just leave me use the standard PAU, lateral U, and E or oblique U. The best you to see how many body fracture. And the last one we can in case you use cup called tunnel U. CT usually required to delineate fracture pattern and determine operative plan. So this is the wrist x-ray in the PA and the public. So we can see the small fragment of a lucency line across the amid. So this is the helmet fracture. So in the E or public view, we can see clearly in the lucency line fracture across the body of the helmet. So we, we also can appreciate on the CT, we can see clearly the line fracture across the body of the army. Treatment, if in case, may be used immobilization the extra articular manifest fracture and operative is in case of interfragmentary in case of fracture uh, intra articular and require open reduction so we can use screw or plus key wire for temporary stabilization. Thank you.